Hey, Periscope. Hi, everybody. Hi, well speaker. Thank you for joining me. Let me roll my window up so y'all can hear me. Hi, Blossom Marie. Everyone else joining. Thank you for the hearts. I do appreciate them. I really do. This is going to be a quick scope about getting our emotions under control. Um, too often, we get frustrated, we get tired, we get angry with people, and we make emotional decisions. I hope that's better for you guys. We make emotional decisions that we don't need to make. Put the back windows down. Um, and that could be in any level. It could be, let's see. Hey, you welcome. Thank you. Hey, you for the thank you for the warm welcome. You're welcome. Hi, Pauletta. I see you guys. Uh, or Paulette. I think that's Paulette. Um. So anyway, so we we get caught up in our emotions, and it could be you know going off on people on Twitter. And listen, I'm I'm really just telling you something I had to learn myself. I'm not speaking from a position of way up here. Um. I'm, I'm just, I'm not, I'm just telling you what I had to learn myself. And so we get emotional and we, you know, we cuss out our significant other, you know, knowing that they're going to take us back, but we, we just got to say it. We just have to get it off our chest. And, and I was definitely that person for many years, just had to get it all off my chest, no matter what it was. Um, it's not okay to call you Pauletta if that ain't your name. <laughs> our names are the only things we truly own in this world yeah just it, it's okay I, i'll figure it out I'll, I'll get it eventually <laughs> but i want to get your name right that's just a respect thing um but hi jordan thanks for joining um but we we do we get emotional and we delete people off of facebook and twitter and everything else only to have to go back and apologize and re-add them and all of that and we just we stay in this emotional space and the reality is is that the person that you ticked off about half the time when people delete me i don't even know they did it and I'm sure it's the same with people I've deleted. Because I don't make an announcement about it or anything like that. I just do what I do and move on. Um, thank you for the hearts, guys. Thank you for joining. I see um, new people popping in. And we, we just got to get that under control. Cursing people out. You know, when you know... Let me roll up my window so y'all can hear me. When you know that... Um, somebody is going to take you back. Or when you know that somebody's not going to respond. Because... One... They just don't care enough to, or because they're afraid of you, like you know, you low key being a bully. All of those things that like, get you, get you under control. It is just crazy to me how people expect other people to respond when they go off on them on social media, and then when they don't respond, you're saying stuff like you know, oh, because she know better or whatever. And really, the reality is, a lot of times people don't respond because they're trying to save your life. Sometimes people are are not responding because they got control over themselves enough to know that they're going to really hurt you. Why put yourself in that position, especially over something that doesn't mean anything? Again, I am talking to myself on a whole lot of levels or something that I had to learn personally. Um, but stop living in dysfunction. And that's what going off on people is about. Constantly going off, constantly being emotional. It's just you living in your own dysfunction. And that's the truth of it. Tap the screen if you agree. Your own dysfunction is what's holding you back. Your own dysfunction is what's giving you all this... I don't even know what word to use. But it's ridiculous, regardless. He said, this is for you? Okay, well, take it for what it is. <laughs> Thank you so much. I see you, Tamara. Thank you for joining me. But the bottom line is, whether it's cussing out your husband, cussing out your brother... Going off, it, it doesn't matter. Going off at work, you know, you you don't get. My father was telling me um, a story recently about somebody who was going off on a waiter, and he was like, "You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what that person is going through. She could she could be have gotten beat up last night. She could have a kid in the hospital. Her mother might have died recently. You really don't know what somebody is going through." Sorry, it's moving around so much, y'all. Y'all know I'm driving. Y'all know I can only scope when I'm driving. So, really, it's just about getting your emotions under control and really understanding that 
hell, everything ain't about you. And sometimes when you're going off, it's get get to the, the real problem. Because what they said to make you go off really ain't the problem. It's whatever you, that's usually the, pow, the, the uh, straw that breaks the camel's back. Last night, I was um, in a drive-thru at Wendy's getting my daughter. I wanted to get her a baked potato. And, you know, Wendy's has the best baked potato. I don't know if y'all know that. But <laughs> I love their baked potatoes. So I'm getting her a baked potato and some nuggets. And the Holy Spirit speaks to me and says, pay for the person in back of you. And so I'm like, okay, cool. And there were three cars because I'm coming this way and they're coming this way. And the drive-thru is this way. And so I'm waiting my turn because there are three cars that get to go first because they were already there and because i'm coming from a different angle and i'm the first car i can see that well the car behind me could not see that and so um as i'm going through uh the, the car behind me goes around i'm sorry they go around to the other side and they know that they're behind me but the guy is being a complete jerk he not only does he cut me off but he blocks traffic so that people who are not even going through the drive who can't get through. And so now because he's ahead of me, I can't pay for his food. So I'm like, okay, fine. I'll pay for the car that's coming behind me. And this guy, he, you know, him and his friend, they're laughing. They're like look, literally looking at me and laughing. I have my kid in the car. I'm not going to react. But I was irritated. And I was just like, dang, like I was finna pay for your food. The car, um... He, when they pull up, the, I order my food, and when I pull forward, I tell the guy, or before I could even tell the guy, to pay for the car behind me. I see the guy in front of me. He's paying with all coins, no dollars at all, just all coins. And it made me think, dang, if he would have, I'm sorry, this is bouncing so much, y'all. Century is a raggedy street in LA. Um, the thing was, though, if he would have just waited he wouldn't have had to use all the coins in his ashtray or all the coins in his pocket or wherever them coins came from because it wasn't a dollar in the bunch he was literally standing there uh, sitting there in the drive-thru counting out his change and my thing is had you just been a, had a better attitude had you just waited had you just been nice about it had you just said you know what i'm gonna go around and hold this spot because she letting everybody in front of her or whatever i would have paid for your food but instead I paid for the car behind me because that was my instruction from God, right? To pay for the car behind me. And so when we are just being jerks and when we don't have control of our emotions, when we got to have um, exactly blocked his blessing because he was just being rude. I'm sorry, y'all. I am sweating. It's not even that hot in LA today, but I am just like seriously sweating. So my point is um, just get your emotions under control. You have power when you can make you stop. And that's just something I've had to really, really learn. You have power. Hey, Delmar, I see you. You have power when you can make you stop. So just get your get your power back. Get your power back. If you're known as the person who's always going off on people, change that image. Just change it. And it's just, it's, and the only way to change the image is to stop going off on people. The only way to change that image is to go, you know what? I'm going to just do better from here on out. Go apologize to people. That That's a good way to go apologize to the people you didn't already went off on. The, uh, the people who have already been subject to your bad attitude. I've done it. It makes you feel so much better, even if they don't accept it. Even if they don't accept it. It really does make you feel so much better. All right, so thank you guys for joining me. Um, I might scope a little bit later on my way home. I don't know. This scope seems really dark. It's, it's going to be darker when I'm going home. It's like 1245. It's, the sun is as high as it's going to get. <laughs> but if I have sun facing me as I, as I drive home, I'll scope again. Hi, Dr. Denise. Dr. C. Denise, hi. Where do I know you from? I know you from somewhere. Hi, Big Life. Thank you for joining all right, you guys, hopefully you feel um, inspired by this scope. Hopefully you share the scope because somebody you know got a bad attitude, I'm sure. <laughs> Click on the little man, push share on Twitter, share on um, to all your followers on Periscope. That'd be great.
Thank you. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the love. Have a great day. Follow you back. Okay, I will uh, get my new book. Oh, uh, come on. Don't come on here um, uh, promoting now. This is my space to promote. <laughs> And by the way, my book is coming for teen girls, helping them transition from being teens to young ladies. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. You can connect with me on Facebook at Coach Kiana Shaw um, or on my personal page, Kiana Shaw. That's fine too. And Twitter, I think you guys are already connected on Twitter because that's how you get in my, um, um, my, my periscopes. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. No, I won't promote on your page because I just kind of find it rude. So I'm not going to do it. But thank you for, for, for the opportunity. You can promote on my page. That'd be great. All right. Oh, you can promote me on your page is what I'm saying. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the love. Bye.